What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have some market talk, guys. And uh, yeah, this one's going to be pretty solid. Before we get into it, guys, smash that like button. Drop the sub if you are new because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's hit 100 likes on the video. And uh, yeah, the market is rising big time. So you guys bought your team yesterday, like I told you guys to. You're going to make a lot of MT. So uh, yeah. Smash that like button, guys. It'd be greatly appreciated. If you didn't watch Go Giannis gameplay, make sure to go check it out. So, uh, yeah, guys, today the market is rising big time, um, which is good news. Very, very good news. And, um, yeah, so we should see a lot of rising within the next couple days. And then next week, it will probably crash even harder. So, if I were you, man, should you sell your cards today? We're going to go over it. Um, we're gonna go over a lot of things in this video. I'm putting up Goat Giannis, guys. Very, very upsetting, but I have to do it, man. He's too expensive. I just can't afford him, man. He's just way too expensive. He's up there. 400,000. I'm gonna miss him. The best card in the game, but I think he will continue to go down in value. So, let's go over some market. Let's talk a little bit about the market. There's a lot to talk about. So, I want to talk about couple things you're gonna see the fan favorites probably continue to drop but i'm gonna go over some cards that did go up in value and here's one of them man Giannis point guard was very cheap yesterday carmelo anthony was very cheap yesterday pay attention to pricing man Giannis was around 80,000 mt for the point guard Giannis, in my opinion just as good as the goat you could disagree i don't care this card is up a ton if you have them don't i would probably sell him he's gonna drop again friday another card that was super cheap yesterday was 40,000 mt for mellow man this guy is up to 60k i actually did invest in him and uh yeah look at this 63,000 mt for carmelo anthony on the mix so he's up a lot another card i'm gonna talk about pascal siakam guys if you guys don't know pascal siakam is a very very good card and honestly he was at 70 4k yesterday on xbox he's up to 82,000. i think his price does continue to rise he's an insane card um very very good card i mean i think this guy's a top power four in the game probably top small four power four probably top 10 very good for 85k amazing release everybody uses him he's up a ton um we could go over a ton of opals shooting guard Przingis is up a ton like a lot so we're gonna look at shooting guard Przingis right here here we go, man. Shooting guard for Zingis. Um, he's up a lot. I saw him go for 62,000 MT yesterday. I picked one up. I just sold him right before this video. I think he's up to 83. He's up to 80,000 MT. Another card that has rose. So, like I said, man, the market was very crashed. It looks like it's rising a little bit. Yes, the fan favorites are still very cheap. You're probably not going to see them go up that much because it is flooded, man. People are still trying to pull Goat Giannis. So here are my recommendations. If you do not, if you have a lot of MT, I would probably stick to like some fan favorites, three filters, um, most likely Eddie Curry and whatnot. Like if you guys want, I would literally just go Celtics and just continue to refresh for uh, Dino Raja. Whatever you guys want to do, it's completely up to you. All in now, 75K for Dino Raja. He was 90K yesterday. He's literally a top center in the game, top five center in the game. I don't care. Um, 70k right there, man. You're gonna see a lot of snipes, a lot of snipes. There's gonna be continuously snipes on the fan favorite filter, like a lot, a lot of snipes. So what is going on with my freaking face cam? Uh, but yeah, you're gonna continue to see some snipes, most likely on the fan favorites, and um, Eddie Curry is gonna be one. Cam Reddish is gonna be one. There's gonna be a ton of Cam Reddish that's going up and whatnot. Um, so let's look at Cam Reddish, man. Here he is, small four galaxy over fan favorites three. This card is incredible. So very good card. You're gonna see a ton of snipes on him. He did go up a little bit from yesterday. He was around 65k. And dude, believe me, this is on Xbox, so it could be different if you are on PS4. 
All I'm saying is, is it a good time to buy? Nah, not a good time to buy anymore. Unless you know how to snipe, unless you know how to work pricing, it's not, guys. Market is rising up a lot from yesterday. Also, all I'm going to say, Cam Reddish is up about 10K from yesterday. Eddie Curry's up. Um, Dino Raj is up. We're going to go over him as well. Um, also, if you guys got a ton of pink diamonds, pink diamonds like Eddie Curry, Dino Raja, pink diamond, they did rise a lot too. So you're going to make a lot of MT off of them as well. Um, let's see if Eddie Curry works finally. It's not really working lately. Um, the filters are like broken. I don't know if they fixed them. If they did fix them, let me know down below in the comments. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated, man. Um, I don't think you could look up Eddie Curry. Can you? Yeah, you can. So... We're going to have to go to Fan Favorites 3. He's very cheap. Also a very, very good center in the game. So make sure to buy him. If you guys need a center, he's like 50k. He's high-key one of the best centers in the game. So probably should pick him up as well. Alrighty, so pretty much overall, man, um, it really just depends, guys. It really just depends. Like All I'm going to say is honestly right now man it's a good time to sell your high tier cards all your cards because honestly the market is rising it could rise even more tomorrow or the next day and another thing is um token market players like yao ming um clay thompson they are down a lot so what i would recommend if you guys really do want to get your tokens up because you feel like there is a token market update coming in which honestly i don't know if there is maybe there is i'm not sure but uh, if you do feel like a token market update is coming, you should probably go on the auction and buy out some cards. I'm going to show you some cards and make some MT and whatnot. Um, probably should buy out these fan favorites cards. They're very cheap right now. Michael Porter, Jay Lynn, they're very, very cheap. They're also very usable. Lock them in, get the 200 tokens. Another one, man, this fan favorites. Bull Bull is so good. Honestly, one of the most underrated centers in this game. Very good. Alex Caruso, very good card. And Taco Fall, man. Lock this in for 200 tokens. That one's also a very good set because you could honestly evil out Bobo and Taco. Pair them up. They're a very solid duo. Very, very solid duo. This one's pretty cheap too. About 100,000 MT. Another one, the one I did, is Lonzo, Lillard, Sean Marion. If you guys do get these cards, if you guys want, Lonzo Ball did go up a ton of MT. Uh, he was around 40,000 MT in my video, I believe, earlier this week. Now he's around 65, 60K. So if you guys want, man, I would probably pay attention to these cards. They're probably going to go up in value once the token market does drop. Um, same with Wiggins, man. Wiggins is up so much MT, guys. Look at this. If you guys remember when the Super Packs came out, this card was 6K. He's up to 30-something thousand MT. That's insane. And same with this Michael Red. He's up a little bit. That is just honestly, in my opinion, insane. Look at this Diamond Ray Allen. So if you guys have any of these cards, man, probably should throw them up. These flash sets are very, very valuable. And you can make a lot of MT. Same with this Mo Bamba. This Mo Bamba is going for 2K. He's around 5K. So everybody in all these flash sets, all these token sets did go up a lot of MT. You can make a lot of MT simply, simply just looking at these sets, man. Um, Isaac Bonga obviously isn't expensive. Let's check out one card. I feel like it's rare. Marjanovic, not rare. Manu Bowl, let's see if he went up. No, he didn't go up either. But um, another card I want to talk about, man, is Manu Bowl Sapphire. They finally released him in packs. He's one of the most rare cards in the game. So honestly, is he worth the investment, man? Honestly, I think he kind of is. For this cheap, we haven't seen him this cheap all year. I'm honestly going to buy one real quick. I'm going to hope for the best. I think I could make some MT off of him. We'll see. He is in the mystery packs. Once these mystery packs go bye-bye, I think he might shoot up to 20,000 MT. This is a pretty good bet. I think it is worth the try. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. I might pick up a few. I'll let you guys know if I do. But let me know if there is any other MT method you guys have been looking at and have been working for you guys down below in the comments. Any snipe filters that have been working, let my subs know. But yeah. Other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. Market talk done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Two videos done. Drop us up if you're new. Have a good one. Peace.